Hello everybody, and today I did something different. Obviously, as you can see, I have a new mask on. I am so proud of this one, and I just absolutely love everything about it. So uh, I hope you uh, have the quick change up all set and ready, because uh, I'll be doing many, many other videos with this guy on, so, uh, and I will create a video of a showcase of it, so you guys can really get to know this new character of mine. So, um, let's just get on with the video. Okay, so today I will be covering, I don't know, let's say, five, uh, five things you'd like to know before becoming a mask maker. Now, if you're becoming a mask maker, whether if you're making these or cat masks, there's a lot of ups and downs with that. And I actually sell cat masks at this moment, but I just want you to know if you want to become one of those, then you're gonna need some ups and downs and learn some things and precautions that you're going to need to take. Now there are a lot of ups and downs with becoming a mask maker. Doesn't matter like what type, it's like sometimes it's the same and sometimes it's not, if you know what I mean. Now, I'm just, this is just the intro. It's becoming really long, so let's get on with the video. Number one, early going. Now, if you don't know, if you are starting up making masks like these or cap masks, please do not sell them. No matter if it's pre-made or commissioned, do not do it. Because people, they expect a lot of you sometimes. So just, I don't, sometimes if people receive your product, and if you're early on, they will not be very impressed and they'll be very sad that they didn't get the product that they wanted. So please, 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 before you start up any sort of commission or shop, please practice first. I did a lot of practicing, so mine is a little bit better with my people who commissioned it. They're happier, so. So I started, uh, doing commissions back then, uh, people would not be very happy with me. So, uh, please, 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 practice before you start selling any sort of art of yours. All right, number two. Stand your ground. Now we all know that saying, customer is always right. No, that is not always the case, and trust me. Because um, when you're commissioning, you, we, us humans, can only do so much. So if people ask for stuff that you can't do that's not in your skill set, or is downright impossible, don't, don't give in and try to do it, because if you can't do it, then don't accept it because we don't want an unhappy customer and that will lead to bad reviews and their friends not wanting to come to you so if you can't do something stand your ground do not give in unless you can do it or if you're up for a challenge that is possible do not ever accept something that is so hard that it's basically impossible for anyone to do. Don't do it. Please, don't do it. Please don't. Trust me. One person asked me for a Chuck E. Cheese mask, and um, I had to, they were actually okay with the changes, but they wanted like certain things that, some things that were like kind of impossible for what's in my skill set. So, I had to kind of move things around, which is okay for them. They were actually really, really happy at the end, but I just got really, really lucky. So please, please, please be careful. Be careful. Be careful. About All right, 
Time for number three, sweet spot. Now, you might have made a mask for one of your family members or one of your friends. And this is where this problem comes in. Now, some of your friends and family might have money to pay you for the mask and will willingly do it for you. But please watch out for those people who won't, even if they do or don't have the money, because some people will try to will try to sweet talk you into getting a mask for cheaper or even for free. And some people actually sadly fall for it and don't and actually waste all that time and effort put into their mask and they give nothing in return. And it's really sad when that happens, so please try to avoid that and also stand your ground, like I said before, as much as possible. That will create the best results for you and your customer. And then last, but definitely not least, shipping. Oh my gosh, it is such a hassle. So, before you become a mask maker, please, 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 re-look over what your, your services are. Because one of my services is shipping. I can ship any of my products to you. Well, my family members and friends, because I don't do people, but like, it's just, you know, it's, it's hard with the shipping because I do have an option for that. But the thing is, it can be really hard if you're not, if you don't know how to do that because some postal services will not accept your package if it's too big. And that's sad because it'll cost extra money and that's just gonna slap you in your face after this uh, client paid so much for it. You have to uh, get all that money and use up all of your money that they paid you just to ship it out to them and please be careful of your packaging because sometimes if your mask is small please 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 get the appropriate size boxes because if you do not then it can cost you extra money in shipping depending on how big the box is if the mask can fit in there then work with what you have because if you don't, it'll be extra expensive and extra sad for how much money you'll have to pay to actually get that shipped out to your customer. So, um, yeah, so please watch out for all these things, including the shipping, because that one's a hard one to take care of. So just please be careful about that, because there are a lot of stuff that other people can do and a lot of other stuff that I did not cover, but I only did five, five things. So hopefully that was okay with you guys. I might make more videos and I feel like I've been really absent lately. So I'm really, really sorry for all my absence lately if I have, but um, I've just been really caught up on projects like these and other sort of stuff. So just, yeah, I've just been taking in a lot of commissions lately from my family and friends. So it's just been heck of a lot lately to just, so I just, it's the weekend. So I decided to get up and make a video, so. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and just thank you guys so much for watching. We are almost at 240 subscribers. So please, 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 please click that subscribe button so I can hit 240 subscribers. Come on, we are almost at the 200 halfway mark where we can reach 300. So please, please, please hit that subscribe and like button and stay tuned for some more videos because I will be posting a lot more. Re uh, so hopefully I can get that done. So uh, please wait more awaits for you so please be patient with all my work and everything like that so i hope you enjoyed the video and bye bye